Well, good morning, everyone. Oh, good evening, afternoon. I woke up yesterday. I believe well, yesterday, or maybe it was actually Saturday. I I learned a new word. I'm not sure. What about you? But I learned this new word. Well, it was cool. I actually had to write it down. Omicron, and it's like. Oh, wow, another name, another word. Here we go again. So I just felt that I really wanted to, to dive on this live today. Um, my computer is down there, by the way. And uh, first and foremost, I, uh, I, just want to, I, I just want to say that, you know, I, I hope everyone is still kind of feeling in the safe space and I think things are okay and uh, and at the same time everything shifts immediately when there's something like that again I don't know how you reacted to this but this was me I somehow felt that we are going forward and at the same time things are definitely different uh things are gradually opening up at the same time it's not really as it has been in the past. Started to travel, a bit of this, a bit of that, and then suddenly everything is put on hold. So I was supposed to go to London today. I was super excited, was looking forward to it, was going to meet with all my, you know, my partners and friends in lean and energy and sustainability. I was going to go to the NG Council um, the, the conference and that was kind of a build up as I'm going to Arizona next week joining Elise Archer for an amazing retreat so everything was just like yes it was amazing and then all the news starts coming in and at the same time I'm starting to get a cold I'm not really feeling so well and I experienced myself going down in this kind of little loop of no oh, no not again no not again so I decided very fast yesterday just to cancel the ticket to London and then give myself a break and the whole thing reminded me of something. Um, it reminded me that we cannot, we cannot control what's happening around us. We cannot control what sudden abrupt shifts is happening around us. And why it is so important that we know to trust ourselves why it is so important to know ourselves to a level that we can generate experiences from the inside out instead of always allowing the outside in kind of uh, controlling our emotions and feelings now what happened was that I was sitting and thinking okay Rita obviously I can't change this I can't change the fact that I'm not feeling well you probably hear that <laughs> I'm a bit blocked in my nose. Uh, I can't change that. I can't change the fact that suddenly there is these uncertainties again, borders being closed and all these things. I can't change that. So I said to myself, okay, now Rita, why is this happening for you? Because this is the golden rule that I live um, towards is Instead of thinking, why is this happening to me? I'm thinking, why is it happening for me? I can't change what's going on, but I can change my mindset. And suddenly I realized that, you know what? I'd actually have two full days with nothing on my calendar. I have full, two full days to emerge in self-care, self-reflection and giving me the opportunity to really fill my cup to think about what what creates um uh energy and joy and uh, giving me the experience of happiness and i wanted to go on this live today to invite you into this thinking 
that you in yourself can actually generate an enormous abundance of joy and appreciation and gratitude even when we're faced with adversity even when suddenly everything turns upside down even when like again in my cases i've experienced my son suddenly being rushed into icu even then the thing is though that it is really serving us if we get to start this before we are standing in the middle of I don't know, can I say shit hitting the fan? You know, it's like, it's so much better if we are prioritizing self-care, building up things before we are in it. So what I want to, what I want to share is you come first. Like I, I was in a conversation with a client this morning, basically, I'm not in conversation with clients uh, these two days, but I'm receiving, we are communicating on Marco Polo on WhatsApp. And she was sharing with me how she felt she only had a very limited time as her child, when the child was asleep and she had an hour only to, to do everything around her house and she felt a high level of anxiety. Now, this is where self-care comes first. This is where you come first. Did you think that you need to do everything for everyone else first and then you got come to yourself well this is a time when you slow down this is for me why my morning ritual are so important to me to sit in silence to do my journaling to think about what is it that i want to experience today regardless whatever omicron <laughs> or canceled flights or anything else going on me first and just like with my client when we are starting to feel joy when we're starting to turn inwards and think about what makes my heart sing what am I doing when I feel alive? When you're getting super clear on specifically what these things are, it is easier for you to simply close your eyes and bring up it, almost like a, a flood of, uh, of joy and excitement and appreciation, gratitude that is going to give you the sovereignty back in your life, giving you the control over your life back instead of allowing everything around us and it was interesting because uh, yesterday i actually last night i came across this post from um world Ec economic forum and the topic was about uh, the great resignation and in the and i shared that and you know you can see it on my profile but i shared it and it's very interesting because some of the things that we have experienced um from the pandemic is that because people have commuted less they've had more time to maybe focus on their hobbies they have experienced that there is an opportunity to spend more time with uh, their family everything has shifted so there is an, a level of um awareness about themselves that has now emerged which has led to more and more people actually resigning now there are more there are many reasons for this great resignation it is burnout there is a lot of resignation highest ever since they started to register uh re people resigning from i think 2000 2006 the highest ever number of resignation in the uk and the us and particularly it's actually in tech companies and healthcare companies um but we also see people who are generally burned out and we also see people who say you know what i am not going to return to a a a system that is squeezing me into having to show up in the office like that having to do all the things i've had it i'm done i'm no longer ready to conform and that's why we have also experienced this great resignation now this is my invitation to you to consider prioritize yourself at the moment 
Invest your time, invest some resources, getting to know what makes your heart sing. What is it that you really want to experience in life? What is it that you then also really want? What is it that you're absolutely know for sure that you're no longer available for? What is it that you no longer want to have in your life? And then stepping back into what is it that you do uh, when you're feeling alive, when you feel excited, when you feel that you're generating joy from the inside out. So you see, when everything in the world is turning completely on its head, it is so important that we can then turn inwards and say, I am a generator of my experiences that you know what makes you come alive, that you know what makes your heart sing, that you know what makes you feel good because things are, again, shifting super fast for us. So when I was just thinking about this morning and I was like, okay, wow, I was supposed to do something that I really loved and then now I weren't able to, I actually saw the gift in it. I can't change the fact that I'm not going to London today. I could change the fact of how I perceive it. And right now I say, you know what? I can, I get to go on the live, share this moment with all of you. Maybe, maybe this live, this, what I'm sharing will mean something to you that you see that you have far more power in your life when you're thinking about that you know yourself really well or you can use the opportunity to get to know yourself to a level where you know your purpose you know what you're meant to be doing here you you know your zone of genius you feel it in your bone you know what makes you tick and that you understand that the best thing you can do for yourself is to put the highest level of priority on yourself. So instead of getting up in the morning and dive straight into um, the kids, the work, the this, the that, actually ensure that you maybe rise, I don't know, even 10 minutes earlier and focus on you. Close your eyes and visualize what makes you come to life. What is beautiful for you that you feel happy from the inside out and actually use the opportunity to see how you can impact things around you and do that massive self-care. Prioritize yourself. And if you even have, like my client had, just an hour for herself, give the hour at least, at least 25% of this hour to yourself and start with yourself before you go ahead and give and give of yourself to everyone else because we need to ensure we're looking after ourselves being generous with ourselves so when we also want to be um, serving others ensure that you serve yourself to the same amount and now the other side it is of utmost importance that we show up appreciating each other. And again, what the, the video from the World Economic Forum showed was that people want to feel that they're appreciated. Employers need to help people to, to see how appreciated they are, support them in their career development, because when you are supporting Supporting people to find their zone of genius, find their purpose, what they're like, what makes their heart sing. They are going to stay because they're going to feel appreciated and loved and cared for. So there are so many opportunities that is coming our way. And let's make sure that we are stepping back and thinking about, hmm, what makes me come to life? You need to know yourself. We have. A responsibility of knowing ourselves and then we also have a responsibility of helping others from a place of abundance because when you're generating a lot from your inside out you're sharing from something that is so abundant so i just wanted to share that and um 
yeah, I would love to hear from you. I know this was again just a very impromptu um, live, and um, yeah, enjoy. A lot of things is happening at the moment and um, we are here for each other. Okay. So with that, I wish you a beautiful, beautiful day. Take care now. Bye for now.